happened to segment, the struggle for control of Venezuela. Reuters is reporting former director of national intelligence Rick Rennell met secretly with a representative of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro last month to try to work out Maduro's peaceful exit from power. No agreement was reached. This evening, correspondent Benjamin Hall looks at Maduro's long and sometimes tenuous hold on power. In 2018, the Maduro regime was on its knees. His re-election had been dismissed as rigged, large-scale protests took over the streets, and a military coup was underway. National Assembly leader Juan Guaido was recognized by the U.S. and more than 50 other countries as legitimate leader. It seemed Maduro's days were numbered. It's going to happen sooner rather than later. But today, Maduro is still in power. His thugs still roam the streets, and he has purged the military while the world's attention has been on coronavirus. Cuba have sent thousands of military advisors, and Iran trades them refined gas for gold. China, Russia, and Turkey also support him, while illicit mining and drug trafficking prop up his failed state. We brought criminal charges against Maduro for his narco-terrorism. The courageous veterans here today bear witness to how radical mobs and violent communists ruin a nation. For over 20 years, the Socialist Party has governed Venezuela, and despite the country's vast oil riches, it has run the economy into the ground, though Maduro blames the U.S. Venezuela, Venezuela, as you know, is under constant attack. Our beloved homeland is the victim of a multi-form attack by the U.S. empire. The U.S. has rejected a military intervention, but two former U.S. soldiers were captured in May after a privately backed plot failed. They have been sentenced to 20 years in prison. Over 4 million Venezuelans have meanwhile fled, but neighboring countries who are key to Maduro's removal are afraid to ramp up pressure for fears millions more would come. Unless you start seeing movement in this direction, I think uh, uh, Maduro will feel that the only pressure, the real pressure, comes from the United States, and that he can fend off. It is thought that the best hope for regime change now is still a palace coup, that someone on the inside would rise up and overthrow Maduro. But after that last failed coup, well, Maduro has his guard up. Brett?